How's it going guys? My name is Mighty Maka. Welcome back to the channel. Now this is a brand new video that um has been requested for quite a little bit now, especially in my streams on uh, my channel. Anyways, it's about top 20 tips and tricks to get better in uh, Warface Breakout and also to get a better KD. So there's going to be two parts of this video. So this first part is going to, I'm going to give you 10 tips and the second part of uh, a different video will also give you 10 more tips and tricks. But first, if this video smashes out 20 likes, that's when I will release out the second video. And honestly, you have to watch both of these because they're both really important. So before this video starts, if you guys can smash that like button and subscribe, that is very much appreciated. So now let's get into it. So tip one is uh, pretty simple. Uh, you have to aim down sight. So I'm going to go into more depth with this. Um, I don't want you to hit fire like every kill. Occasionally you can see if you're using the SMG and they're up really close and you need that like uh, close fire range and that little hip accuracy right there. But what I mean is to like aim down sight. Aim down every corner you look down. Every valley you look down. Every corner you look over. That's what I'm saying. You have to go around every corner and be prepared by having the first advantage on the opponent by already aiming down sight and already looking down. Because this game is all about whoever gets the first shot in, and honestly, you need to get the first shot in to basically get the kill almost 100% of the time, really. My second tip is that if you guys are friends to play with, play with friends. Like, seriously, if you play with your friends, you will get a much better KD as well because communication across the board will be so much higher. I know that's kind of boring, but it's honestly true. And uh, I have to literally cover all this as well. So play with friends. Playing with friends is literally the best thing that you can do to always get a better win-loss ratio when that stat comes out and say a better KD. Number three, you got to use the mechanics. So right now in the game we can crouch and jump. There might, there might be more mechanics coming out as we saw in the trailer where some guy does a little roly-poly. But right now we got crouch and jump. Use that to your advantage. Literally crouch, move around, move as much as you can when you're fighting someone like crouch up and down constantly clicking that button. Or even jump. Jump around corners, jump in someone's face. Use the mechanics that can help you out that can literally put the opponent off. I don't know how many times it's literally saved me in situations where say if I crouch or jump and it can really help out, especially if you jump, it auto auto automatically makes your like aim go towards their head in a, in a way, you know? Okay, number four, it's kind of similar to the uh, mechanics but it's more like the controller, so the controller that you use. So I don't know if you know this but when you aim and shoot someone, if you use the right joystick on the controller, if you slightly move that down, you can actually control the weapon spray and the weapon kick uh, more, so it can be more accurate on the, uh, say, the person you're killing. And that is actually a very important tool and trick, and it is basically a tip that I'm telling you guys that really helps out. It it does so much for you if you literally learn to control that little thing. It's the same thing, say, on a mouse and keyboard where, say, if you move the mouse out as well. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But if you didn't, literally, like, work that out and try it. That's how people have their most insane aim because they literally, like, wiggle their thumb around their right thumb on uh, the joystick to literally master the aim. Okay, tip number five. As you know, this game is all about health, so the best way to kill someone is to aim for their head. So that is literally how they drop dead faster. Saying casual, we already have armor on, but still if you aim for the head, it will literally penetrate it more, as well as in uh, hardcore. Some people will most likely definitely forget to buy a helmet. So say if you get that one shot on the head, boom, they're dead. Just boom, dead. <laughs> okay, now one thing I have learned in this game is, literally this is number six, you have to be patient. Literally be patient at all, at all times. Like, it's it's amazing like how many times if you just sit back and wait for the enemy to literally push when they shouldn't even be pushing a certain direction or area and then say you already have the upper advantage because they're a little bitch and you literally just kill them straight away because they're so dumb that they have no patience that you just literally you just nail them in the head and honestly patience yeah you might be called a pussy but no you're not you're actually playing it really smart so it's actually being better smarter and more patient than the other guy. That is how this game is is made because literally each round you only have one life. You're not going to come back. So if you put yourself in a situation to just die, then that's dumb. So being patient is the key. 
I'd honestly say that is probably the most important uh, rule and tip of them all. Okay, tip number seven, use nades and stuns. Those are actually two very key uh, factors in the game, say if you can get an early nade off in the, at the start of a round or a stun. And when you stun these players, literally it, it lasts, lasts quite a bit, so you can easily get the kill right then and there. And honestly, with a nade, if you have teammates or whatever, if you chuck it in one spot where you know people are going to be, boom, that will be an instant kill already for your team. That is if you hit them, of course. And even if you hit someone with a nade, you already know where the opponent is going. They are running away. They're running their little ass back home where they came from. As well as they are already weak, so you already have the upper advantage on that. So literally push that guy or push multiple guys. Another tactical tip, this is uh, number nine. Um, if you want to get a quick plant or defuse done, like if you want to play the objective really smart, use smoke grenades. Literally, if you throw it on the bomb site, no one wants to go in that. They're literally scared shitless. And if you get the plant done, literally all you have to do is protect it. Or if, or if it's the defuse, of course, you just defuse it. Diffusing is a little more difficult though because the enemies would most likely know and they can actually hear it. Now, tip number nine, when you play hardcore, make sure the first thing you buy is armor. And if you can't afford both helmet and body armor, just buy the helmet and you'll have to play even smarter in that round. Protecting your body whereas you'll have to literally head glitch places and, and like I said, protect your body. And now this is part two of this tip. It's uh, when you don't have really anything in the game or in a match, you have to stick with teammates that either have weapons or that... Say if they get a kill, you can take the enemy's weapon. That is basically uh, the second part of that tip. But that is tip 10. So I've got one more tip for you guys that I literally just thought of. So this is going to be a bonus tip. So you guys are so goddamn lucky. Anyways, if you have managed to stick with me up until now, do smash that like button and subscribe, especially if you want to see part two, because like part two is also very important and crucial of uh, in interesting things that you need to know in the game. Anyways, this bonus tip is literally about planting the bomb or defusing it. The enemies can hear it and you can hear it. So say if you plant the bomb, literally camp around the side, go, go into a little corridor where no one can hear you but stay close to it and you can honestly hear the enemy defusing the bomb. You can use this to your advantage on both situations where you're either defusing or planting basically. Oh yeah, diffusing or protecting, that's what I mean. So say if you need to diffuse it and you don't know where the enemy is at and you can see that it, there's like still enemies left, you can literally prank him and literally start diffusing, let go straight away. They're going to honestly peek and try and look and then you can nail that bastard in the face. That is, I've done that multiple times and it's actually really key, it's really, really good. Now say when you have planted the bomb and now you need to protect it, it's the same thing where if you hear them you can you have to peek of course because you don't know if they're going to defuse it fully or not so hopefully they just don't do what i said but i don't think they would because no one really knows uh that logistic in the game so literally you can just hear them defuse it and then you can just go for the kill anyways guys that is going to do it for this video i hope you have enjoyed uh this is part one of top 20 tips and tricks i know it says 20 but there's going to be a part two of this video and that is up to you guys. You have to literally smash out 20 likes and that is when I will release out the next video of part two. So again, that is it for this video and hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, again, smash that like button and subscribe. I will see you guys again next time. So have a good day and bye-bye.